Just 10 minutes after returning from the fire, Mizzy Droge told us how it felt. The weather's been just kind of miserable. Uh, in the evenings, it's a little better, but it's really hot, and these guys are really tired. They're doing, they've been doing an awesome job. At Heart of the Pines Fire Department, they know that rest is every bit as important as the fight. It does get a little miserable, but that's why we have rehab, and we, we come in and we trade out for fresh crews as often as we can. From sunrise? A typical shift is 12 hours. To sunset? And they were there every bit of 12 hours yesterday and the day before that. Volunteers at Smithville have also been sweating it out. Uh, it is getting hotter out there. We're making sure we just sent them food and water. So it's so important that you do take care of yourself and drink all that water. Smithville firefighter and councilman Scott Saunders says water, food, and anything else needed is delivered from the fire station straight to the front lines. And we get it to them, they come in and eat, rehab a little bit, and go back out. Acadian ambulances are also on standby if anybody gets overwhelmed. Other departments take over at sunset when volunteers at Smithville return to find some well-deserved rest and relief. And when their dads come in, you know the kids are hugging their neck and everything. And I mean, it gives you chills and brings a tear to your eye seeing it. And remember, a lot of these volunteers have day jobs. We've been told that employers here in the area have been good about allowing them to take time off from work to go fight those fires. Also, the Forest Service says they are very aware through their coordination efforts. They do their best to make sure they're getting the proper rest and sleep before heading back out there to fight. We will have updates from this informational meeting a little bit later on in the newscast. For now, we're live in Smithville. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.